Two prominent critics of China are on their way there. We're talking about two government backbenchers, Andrew Hasty and James Patterson, who have been critical of the Chinese Communist Party, as you'd know, particularly over recent months. They're going to be part of a fact-finding mission, though, to visit Beijing in December, and they both say being on the ground won't change their views. More from political reporter Eliza Edwards. In an August opinion piece, Andrew Hastie controversially compared attitudes to the rise of China to that of Nazi Germany, prompting China to accuse him of adopting a Cold War mentality. Despite trading barbs with Beijing, Mr Hastie and his Liberal colleague James Patterson have accepted an invitation to travel there in December. Both he and I have had a bit to say uh, about our uh, profound concerns about human rights abuses from the Chinese Communist Party, whether that relates to uh, Dr Yang, the Australian writer uh, who's detained there at the moment, whether it relates to the situation in Hong Kong, uh, whether it relates to the Uyghur people in Xinjiang province. Senator Patterson vowing to raise these concerns when meeting with Chinese officials and criticising Labor's Richard Miles for failing to do the same during his recent visit. I can say that uh, on this upcoming trip we won't make that mistake. Let's uh, see what meetings uh, James Patterson has. Um, obviously uh, I did raise the question of the Uyghurs and when we're talking about consular cases it's always been my practice to uh, seek the advice of our consular experts. While Mr Hastie's comments did little to drag Australia's relationship with China out of the deep freeze, his upcoming trip to Beijing and the Prime Minister's meeting with China's Vice President in Jakarta on Sunday could be a sign of thawing relations. But Scott Morrison is yet to receive an invitation to visit Beijing, unlike Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews, who's currently holding talks with Chinese officials after joining the controversial Belt and Road Initiative last year. Why does he believe this is in our national interest? Why does he believe it's in Victorian interest? Eliza Edwards, Sky News, Canberra.